it's raining today. Well, I planned on doing a little video outside today, but you know what? It's kind of chilly, and I don't want to take the dog out. She just soaks up the water. She loves to jump in the puddles. Oh, her just got drips all over the place. Even the duckies and the geese are hiding out. So you know what we're going to do today? We're going to bake. We're going to bake. I think it'll be the cozy thing to do, so come on inside and oh, let's go. Oh, I had to get my little chef hat on, and I decided to dress up with the little baubles. You know, my my grandma's earrings and her brooch. Her brooch. Uh, why not dress up a little bit when you're in the kitchen baking, especially if you're going to go on YouTube? <laughs> so, well, also, I'm going to honor my grandma. This is my mom's mom, and this is my dad's mom. This is her little, I think it's a fire king. Let's see what it says. Well, it's called a fire king. Yep, it's fire king wear and it's lasted that long. Uh, well, how long is that? Well, she was born in 1893. So I'm sure she got it sometime between 1893 and the time she died. Well, anyway, we're going to do something really special today. It's going to be one of my favorite cakes. I I don't eat a whole lot, but this is one that you can freeze and, and you know, just nibble on when having your tea at four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> I don't do that. I just kind of eat and pretend like it's tea at four o'clock in the afternoon. So I've got the oven already preheating, and let me show you what we're going to use for ingredients. Five-minute cake. Well, except when you have to bake it. If you, if you only bake it for five minutes, you're, you're going to be using a spoon. Hang on. So any cake mix flavor, today I'm going to do Ben Crocker Super Moist Devil's Food Cake. <laughs> well, it's going to be super moist because the only other ingredient is this. Pumpkin, pure pumpkin. And I'm going to uh, show a recipe I'm sure a lot of you have seen. Okay, so i got to get me a little spatula, spatula rooney here. Need a little spatula rooney. I always like to use the yellow one when I'm doing pumpkin. So here we go. Just scrape that pumpkin out. And I'm learning to get all the cans and everything open and all ready to go so that I'm not wasting your time. This is not a waste of the time. This cake is good. And, you know, it's not super healthy, but it's got pumpkin in it. And now you just pour in this cake mix. Just this one package of Devil's Food Cake Mix right into the into the pumpkin. And, you know, I'm going to pour it into this wonderful cobalt pan. I just love that pan. And here, now you just stir. I'm just using the whisk to kind of mix it in slowly because when I do it fast, it splatters this powder all over the place. And, and as it gets harder and harder to, to stir, you're going to use the splash of Rooney. And, you know, it, it works. You just have to work it in and work it in. And, you know, it's all getting incorporated here. Incorporated. I'm going to have to pay their corporate taxes. <laughs> well, well, whatever. Anyway, let's clean this off a little bit. Here we go. Cleaning it off. Into the pan. Baking is a science, but it's not always rocket science. And this is pretty foolproof. Now I'm gonna tell you, you gotta put it in the oven at 350 degrees. And we'll start with 35 minutes and check it. You might have to go a little bit longer. And then while it's baking, we're gonna stir up some magic frosting. Well, we're back and we're gonna make the sauce while the, while the cake is baking. And, you know, the light's not so good today because it's so dark outside, but hopefully you can see this. So turn on our stove. And that's a big pat of butter, but I think that's a good, that's good. That's about two tablespoons, maybe three, just around there. You get to eyeball this, because this isn't, like I say, not rocket science. It's the flavors we're going for. And we are out of amaretto, but I have something I forgot about that somebody sent me. A fan sent me this for Christmas. It's called Ginger Nine, and what it is is um, it's sour cherry liqueur. Ooh, 
Ooh, and it's very good. They they send it with some chocolate cups that you drink out of, and I've only had it once, but putting some sour cherry with chocolate, yummy. So that's what we're gonna do today. So let's get a little stirring spoon. I like my wooden spoons with my Costco pans. Just melt that butter. Melt that butter real good. Real good. I'm gonna turn it down a little bit because I, there we go. Between low and medium, just melt that. Okay, now we need to add some powdered sugar. You can actually add a little cream to this if you want and some vanilla just to make a little vanilla tasting frosting. So let's get this stirred up. Okay, we're gonna add in some of the cherry now. So you just start adding like you would when you're making frosting. But we want it to be syrupy. Oh, that smells so good. So good. Yeah, just do it till that, that, that sugar melts. If it starts to get a little too thick, then you just add a little bit more of that cherry cordial. And now we're just gonna turn up the heat a tiny bit so we can get this cooking and melting the sugar. It's got a beautiful color. It looks like milk chocolate, even though it's cherry flavored. Another thing you can do to spice up that cake is throw in a few handfuls of chocolate chips while it's baking. I didn't do that because I want to be able to maybe have a little breakfast dessert. Do you ever do that? Have a little breakfast dessert. What we're going to do is just let it kind of cook a bit and, and get some of the liquid. Let it, let it just uh, cook down just a little bit. Thicken. And that's not going to take very long. So instead of making you watch this and wait, I'll be right back. Well, it's been in there 35 minutes and it looks like it needs five more minutes. You better go get your chef's cap on if you want to help mommy bake, Lulu. Okay, here we are. It's been 40 minutes. Oh, let's see what happens. Oh, it's perfect. It's just perfect. It came out clear. Now you want to make sure it comes out, you know, not wet on the stick and it's perfect, so I'm going to get my little mitts and pull this out of the oven, and then I'm going to show you the magic third ingredient. So here we are. I've got the cake out of the oven, and I've heated up my little sauce, and I've got my cheater chopsticks. And now, look at I'm going to poke holes in this thing. You know, it's still kind of hot. But poke, 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 poke. Poke, poke, your pokey little holes down there so that the nice hot syrup can go straight into those little holes and all around the sides now. Now watch this, look at it, isn't that beautiful? We're just gonna pour it and I love it all around the edges. Put a lot of around the edges because it goes clear down into the cake and it goes down into those holes and just soaks in and soaks in. So, you know, poke some more holes if you have to, because you'll see where it's just kind of puddling on the top. And then you're gonna fill those holes with this wonderful, luscious cherry cordial oh, syrup. It's so good. So just pour the rest in. You don't need any to, to go to waste. And here we go. It's just looking really good. Okay, that's it. Now, let it set. Just let it set. So it's done and we're ready to cut it and I poured myself a little cup of tea and so you don't need to look at me. Let's just look at the cake. So let's cut this baby. I love the ends because see all this extra goopy stuff? That's, that's the, that's the frosting and now it's still warm. It's really good when it's warm, especially when you use that spice cake with the cinnamon. You know, oh, and, and I wanted to say you don't you don't have to use any kind of alcohol. This is a this is called a little a liqueur, and this has a low alcohol content. But the 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 truth is, you can use any kind of flavoring that you want to use, vanilla or cinnamon. You can do that. You know, there's alcohol in that too. But you got to remember when we heat this up so much, like we just did, the alcohol actually does burn off. But if you really can't, oh, look at this. Even the end piece looks good. Look at that. What I, what I like about this texture is that it comes out just, well, we're gonna take another little piece here so you can see a little bit more of the middle. 
it's like kind of a chewy brownie. I think this is my best one so far. You could you could do an experiment. You can use any kind of cake mix and pumpkin. Even if you use a white one, well, if you use a white cake mix, but why not just use yellow or pumpkin with the spice or carrot cake with fireball, fireball butter and brown sugar. It's one of the best cakes I've ever tasted. What you taste in this devil's food cake is this sugary, buttery, cherry flavor. Now the amaretto is good, but this tart cherry, this dark tart cherry. You know, what I love about, hang on. Oh, is my mug in the way? It's okay to have some comfort food. Now, Fred's been gone for a few weeks doing some business down in California. And I'll be announcing what that's about soon. So I miss him a lot. And it's raining. And, you know, I've been doing really good on my diet. And today I wanted to share something with you. I wanted to cook for you today. I thought, why not this? It's comfort food. It's fast and it's something you can do. You can throw a little zucchini in there. Nobody would ever know. <laughs> Pumpkin zucchini. Mm. You know, be the light to yourself. Be a first responder and love to yourself. Because you know, I wasn't going to mention much, but we got a lot going on, as always. And uh, we had a little bombing in Afghanistan. And... I'm here to say, to be the light to you, it's okay to be in a place of comfort. Do what you need to do. I'll be eating this as I pray for all those involved and for comfort to the world and for the angels of the universe to comfort the world and to heal those who are hurting. Always remember how much I love you and wish you could be sitting right here with me sharing some of this wonderful, super moist devil food cake with pumpkin in it and that wonderful frosting. Okay. Bye-bye. You better go get your chef's cap on if you want to help mommy bake, Lulu. You want to help mommy bake? That's a yes. <laughs>